it's time for part two, engine rebuild. Though you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin, and I know it's never gonna end, cause you've been a good friend. Alright, you can see the camshafts here. What we're getting ready to do is put it in, but before that, the uh, main mission is to lube it up with none other than good old Lucas. Well, it's a thousand times better than regular oil. Yep, you can see it's slick as a pig and shit. So, now let's go do this. Yep, put it right in. It's kind of nice I get to run the video camera. I don't have to worry about having it on a stand or anything like that, or a tripod, I mean. All right, so we got it lined up, ready to drive her home. In theory, it'll go in nice and easy. And you can see it's just soaked in Lucas. And we lost video for some reason, I think. Maybe, maybe not. All right, as you can see, the camshaft is in place. No big deal, but it is soaked in Lucas. I think that's critical. All right, so the camshaft is in. And the timing set also is in. The pulley was just kind of thrown on there to push everything back in so it met. And I'll show you real quick here. So everything meshed together. Actually, needs pushed in more, but you get the idea. So that's where we're at right now. Camp shaft timing set. Get ready to punch some pistons. Okay, so it's ring time on the pistons. And this is considered a three ring piston. You got the top. You got the... Hang on a minute. Oh, there we go. Got the middle one, but then you got the oil ring. That goofy looking one. Which is this one here. Um, hand me a top one there. Okay, so this is a top one. How can you tell the difference? Oh, there's no bevel on this one. That's not a top one. Yeah, it is. Oh, there is there's a bevel? There's the inside bevel. Oh, my word. I even got my glasses on. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not. But anyways, there's a bevel right where my thumb is. And, uh, and that's your top ring, and then the other one, this is, this is your, uh, you're calling it a bottom ring, but it's not really a bottom ring, it's, lower compression. yeah, lower compression ring, and it's squared off without a bevel, so, that's that, getting them all ready, rigged up, and set, so you can see how these fit on there. You know, it's like, oh man, they, they don't fit quite tight and all that, but when they're down in the cylinder, they'll compress. So no big deal, but these are looking nice. Had to get that, that eighth uh, piston pressed on. There's a guy down the road that has a shop with an arbor press. And he pressed it on there for five bucks, so it was worth it. You know, vision, visual acuity is key in doing some of this stuff you know if the light hits it just right you can tell that there's a bevel on there but I had to look extremely close to tell so you know it looks like it's on there pretty good yeah now I watch it and then, and then, of course, you don't want those lined up either. No, that's those, why they're those slots. Yeah, you want them offset that's why too. They're 180 degrees off. Yep. And these are 180 degrees off. 
when I set them. Yeah, absolutely. And then this, I put facing forward along with the uh, compression ring. I was reading the comments in uh, yesterday's video, and a guy said in those in those uh, grooves in the cylinder, he said put JB Weld in there, let it dry. He said and smooth it out to the touch. Other guy says, well, you got to really weigh out how much money you're going to put into something old like that. I totally agree. Now this rebuild kit, in and of itself, I got off eBay for yeah. a 5.7 liter 345 engine was 818 dollars. Uh, I got both um, heads for, uh, I paid for both of those, about 400 bucks. So I thought that yeah, was... Yeah, about 400 a piece. No, I didn't, no. Or was it... No, I got, I got both heads for like four or 450. Oh, all right. I thought it... No, I got them for nothing. Well, half of what I thought I would get them for. But anyways, there's not, you know... <laughs> it's not like on every, uh, on every street corner there's somebody rebuilding a 345 engine. Although these are the same engines that went in the Scouts, the International Scouts, which are very popular, uh, you know, vehicles and whatnot, so. Okay, you can see that the first piston is punched. It does look good. I'll go to the other side and show the other one. All right, now I'm going to show you how you punch these pistons in. So that was a ring compressor that just fell down below the truck. But it goes around the piston itself, and then you just punch them in. And I'll show you a couple more here. All right, so once you punch a piston in, you get underneath there and put the rod bearing in. You can see what we I'm doing. All right, you can see what we're doing here. It's not torqued down or anything, but it is down. Um, before the bearings put on there, it is Lucased. Pretty much everything's Lucased. Okay, I wanted everybody to see what a rod bearing actually looks like. Um, yeah, over here. It's got a little notch in it for alignment, so you can't put it in wrong. Yep. In the Army, they call that gel proof or idiot proof. You can see the little notch there. So, go ahead. Okay, so you... you s just push your bearing in. It's got a little notch in the rod cap. That, that lines up to and in the rod itself like right there yep no doubt and you throw and your, then take your Lucas nice thick strip nice thick strip in there don't try to save your Lucas oh we don't want too much it's like people that use hand sanitizer just like you put a little bit of Put, put just a half a drop on there and try to smear it all over the your hands. The same Spread it around that. a little bit. The, Make uh, sure this dot is up. Get your piston started. Get your hammer. And just lightly tap and I got to go underneath and realign that rod but we'll be good and I'll go on the other side oh, let's see yeah I should be able to get that man that sounds bright making it so that goes down so you can get to the yeah, I got a line. Get the bearing on there. Yeah, so I can get it in. 
Yep, just a little trick, trick of the trade. Turn that so that lowers, or over on the other side. So then we can put the rod bearing on. Again, not torqued, but on there. Well, as you can see, all the pistons are put in. This is the one side. Look pretty good with the naked eye. I'll walk around to the other side and show you. And that's pretty much going to wrap up part two. Stay tuned tomorrow for part three. Thanks for watching. Thank you.